What's up, guys? It's your boy Donna. Welcome back to Dime Up Cuz Man. Hey, look at that. That's a green screen. And that's green light. And this is a microphone. Hey, man, we got some new things on the channel, man. Brand new things, man. If you're new here, man, remember to like, comment, and subscribe to join the ride and be with your boy Don. And I want to thank y'all for that 50 subs. Like, 50? Hey, we are 50% on our way to this to our goal of 100 subs. So uh, let's keep running that number up. So if you can tell by the title of this video, man, this video is about Nikola Jokic. Now, those are my best performing videos on the channel, of course. And uh, this is episode two of my NBA draft steals. And uh, yeah, let's get into it, man. So basically, Nikola Jokic, you know, he was in the 2014 NBA draft. And for some reason, he was taken 41st overall in the second round. <laughs> what can I say? You know, but that, that draft class had some very good players and some future all-stars in them. It's so like um, Andrew Wiggins, Joel Embiid, Jabari Parker, Marcus Smart, Julius Randle, Zach Levine, Spencer Dinwiddie. Now, one reason why Jokic was probably taken near last in the NBA draft was probably because of his because they doubted his ability to keep up with the pace of the NBA because as you knew at this time the three ball was starting to take over the NBA man people were starting to shoot more threes and they were going away from the traditional big man they were going away from the Shaquille O'Neal's of the era so that was one reason why even though they did draft jo Joel and be very high in the draft Jokic was taken at that point because he was considered slow you know because he was a very chubby type guy type player so they didn't think he would be able to prosper in the league now he did not play that season but he did play the 2015-2016 season on october 28th in his 2015 nba debut he only scored two points two points in three minutes and 55 seconds you know not bad i mean that's i mean you won't see a lot of two, uh second round second rounders getting minutes anyway you know almost a month after he was able to get 23 points and 12 rebounds but unfortunately that was a loss but that did not stop him from doing better things and on january 10th he was able to put up get nine assists in a win over the charlotte hornets now that, i think that was a career high for him so he's able he showed his scoring rebounding and passing ability already in his first few NBA games in his first in his rookie season on February 1st a month later he was able to get 27 points 14 rebounds 100 14 rebounds I said 100 and a 112 93 went over the Raptors so he was showing his his versatility in that paint you know his ability to score maybe he shot a few three balls here and there and on April 8th he was able to set a new career high in rebounds with 15 in a win against the Spurs how how full circle was that in his rookie season he finished third in rookie of the year voting and he also made the all rookie first team while averaging 10 points per game seven total rebounds 2.4 assists 51.2 percent from the field 33.3 percent from three so that showed he was a pretty good shooter at that time 53.5 percent in his effective shooting so that showed he was very effective on the court when he was on there when he was shooting on 21.7 minutes per game which is very good those numbers are very good now in his sophomore season on october 29 2016 he would put up 23 points 17 rebounds he had five trip five uh triple doubles this season and he had a very high scoring season where he had very top-notch numbers for somebody only in their second season um and those six triple doubles was a was what propelled him to finish fourth in a triple doubles that season behind Russell Westbrook, LeBron James, and James Harden. And that's some pretty good company to be behind. I mean, shoot, all time greats right there. And he was also able to finish second and most improved. I think Giannis won most improved that season. So that was uh, really good for him as well. And he also was a candidate for assist of the year. So that showed his amazing passing ability once again. And this was only a sneak peek of what he could do on the court. He already showed he could pass. He already showed he could score. He already showed he could rebound. Now, all he has to do is put all that together. And in this 2016-2017 season, he was able to average 16.7 points per game, 
9.8 total rebounds, 4.9 assists, 57.8 from the field, 32.4 from three, 60.5 effective shooting. That is very key. He was very effective that season. That's what really showed. That's what really showed out because he was very so effective. And he also uh, had 27.9 minutes per game. So those were very good numbers by uh, Jokic. And I would just to tell you, that was a sneak peek of what he could do, man. And he's done some very, very great things. Very great things. And I really do like Nikola Jokic for real. In the 2017-2018 season, he scored a career high of 41 points against the Brooklyn Nets. My favorite team, of course. And he was also able to record the quickest triple-double in NBA history in only 14 minutes, beating Jim Tucker. And I think the, the second quarter wasn't even finished yet. <laughs> it was like a minute left in the second quarter, and he already had a, the quickest triple-double in NBA history, which is very impressive and also showed his, his versatility, his his ability, a once, like, I wouldn't say once in a generational, but like, once in a lifetime type big man, really. Because nobody really thought oh, he could do this, you know? Nobody really thought that. And after a, I think, a 120, 113 went over to the Detroit Pistons, he was able to set the most triple doubles by a Nuggets player since Fat Lever. And I'm telling you, yes, that is a real name. Somebody named their kid Fat Lever. Don't. No questions. Don't ask me any questions about that. <laughs> For real. And this season, I think he had seven 30-point games. But unfortunately, he scored 30, a 30-point triple-double. But lost and was ruled out of the playoffs on, like, I think a 46-36 record. See, that's how close the West was during that point. Like, if you had, like, a... Like, at that point, it was so close that if you had a record above 500 you could still miss out on the playoffs you know and they lost to the uh timberwolves they lost to the timberwolves and i was pretty sad you know it was a very very heartbreaking uh thing but he still had a very impressive season and showed what he could do and mind you he is going up every season as i'm looking at my notes he is going up every single season in every almost every single category especially that effective shooting because that effective shooting is very key to you being able to be good at the game of basketball and in this season he averaged 18.5 points per game 10.7 uh total rebounds 6.1 assists per game 49.9 percent from the field which is i think down from last season but i he was shooting more um 39.6 uh from three i think that was a career high for him and 55.4 effective field goal shooting which also taken in granted he was shooting way more on that team and he was given a bigger opportunity and in part in play he was averaging 32.7 minutes per game so that showed um a lot of growth and a lot of potential for Nikola Jokic and that's when 2016 2017 was when he started getting on everybody's radar now 2018 2019 in my opinion is his best season so far um one of his best seasons and this season he signed a five-year 148 million dollar maximum contract bro and in the second game of the season he was able to put up 35 point 12 rebounds and 11 assists over the phoenix suns at this time the phoenix suns were, were, were bad he also is the only player to score 30 since who now y'all gotta tell me who in the comments i know but i want to know if y'all know and he also became the second Denver nugget to have triple doubles in the first two games of the season that shows you how good he is he is a literal walking triple double he can get a triple double at any given point in time which is um scary if you think about it because if he can do that every single night it's it's a wrap if he can do that like almost every other night like a russell westbrook type oh it's a wrap for the league like it's a wrap i'll tell you that and um he was able to put up a season high of 39 for the Charlotte Hornets and he also became the youngest player to have 20 triple doubles the other players who used to have that were Oscar Robertson and Magic Johnson so I'm pretty positive that's some that's uh some good company right there pretty positive of that good company so was able to get his first all-star appearance his very first all-star appearance and in the in the playoffs when they got to the playoffs he made the playoffs this season you know which was very good 
he was able he was the first player in the in four years and since LeBron in 2006 to have a triple double in his playoff debut with a stat line of 10 points 14 rebounds and 14 assists but unfortunately it was a loss you know in game six of the series he had 43 points and 27 of them came in the second half unfortunately resulted in a loss this set a franchise record though for most points by a Nuggets player in the playoffs in the semifinals he was able to put up 33 points 18 rebounds and 14 assists in a quadruple overtime I remember that bro that quadruple overtime was nuts I tell you it had me on the edge of my seat the whole game that was nuts but unfortunately it was a loss and unfortunately he lost in the in the seventh game and was eliminated from the playoffs and in this 2018 2019 season man he was able to put up 20.1 points per game which is a career high at that time 10.8 point uh total rebounds 7.3 assists per game 51.1 percent from the field 30.7 three uh from three 54.5 effective shooting and 31.3 minutes per game which was down from last season but uh there were more threats on the team and more scoring uh, responsibilities dished out to the team now in the most late related season 2019 2020 he was able to hit a game winner against the 76ers to get a comeback from a 21 point uh deficit the next game, he hit another game winner <laughs> against the uh, T Wolves, the Timber Wolves, and he was able to put up 30 points, 20 win rebounds, and 10 assists. And that was the first 30 2010 game since four it, since four years. It, it had been four years since there had been a 30 2010 game at that time. And he was able to be the first Denver Nuggets since Carmelo Anthony to be back to back All Stars which is very good and showed his potential and what he could do in the future and his what he could do in the playoffs and the regular him and Denver were able to come were able to be the first team in NBA history to come back from 3-1 twice in the same playoff season now y'all might think of the Cleveland Cavaliers at that time the Cleveland Cavaliers but this was twice in one playoff so I, it was the Jazz and the Clippers yikes we all remember the Clippers one too <laughs> pandemic p i tell you but and then they were able to make it to the western conference finals against the lakers and we all know how that turned out man they only won one game in that five game series 4-1 and unfortunately Jokic was not able to go to the finals like he wanted to um and in the 2019 2020 season man he was able to put up 19.9 points per game 9.7 total rebounds seven assists per game 53% from the field, I'm rounding up, 31.4 from three, 57, 57 effective field goal percentage, and 32 minutes per game. Very impressive numbers, but was down in the scoring and rebounding numbers. Um, only by a little bit, but still very noticeable, you know, due to Jokic being that guy who's going to give you 2010 and 5, 2010 and 5 every night. And up to this season, the 2020-2021 season, man, he's able to record four triple doubles in, in, in the first six games of the season. And in my opinion, he's the MVP of the league. And I think right now, he, I predicted way back in my other video. And tell me in the comments, who do you think is going to be the MVP of this season? And as of right now, he's averaging 26.3 points per game, 11 total rebounds, 8.6 8 .6 assists per game which is a 56.6 from the field, other career high. Man, he's in his prime. I can tell you he's in his prime. Some people might not agree with me, but I feel like he's in his prime. And 60.6% from the, 60 .6 effective field goal. Yeah, he in his prime. So, man, that was the end of the video, man. Tell me how you liked the video in the comments. Remember, like, comment, and subscribe if you, join, if you enjoyed the video. And shoot. Join the ride and be with your boy Don, man. Hey, I tell you, IRL stuff is coming in the future. I don't know when. Um, maybe in a few, few, few months. I got a GoPro and everything like that. Um, the IRL stuff is going to consist of basketball one v ones. So we're going to be outside with it. So man, uh, stay tuned, man. Stay tuned. Peace out. God bless. One hundred.